Hello everyone. Uh, welcome you all for the session. And this session I'm going to brief about the poem Village Song written by Sarojini Naidu. Uh, Sarojini Naidu has written two poems on similar title Village Song. And this poem has been taken from a collection of poems called Folk Song. And this poem deals with the practice of marriage and at the same time it also deals with a clash between two uh, ages or uh, two generations. On the other hand it also in lit literary text it also deals with uh, a reality versus romanticism. Let's move into the poem now. And this poem has been written in a conversational style where in the stanza one the mother asks question to the daughter, the daughter who is going to marry the next day. Everything has been arranged and for the marriage. The next day she is going to be married off to her husband, no, a stranger or a boy. And the second stanza, the daughter replies, saying no to the marriage, where she wants to go to nature, maybe to be one with, to be united with the nature. She wants to escape from the world of reality. And then third stanza, you find again that our mother tries to you know, uh, persuade, convince her to accept the reality and to live with the reality and then doctor takes a decision whatever she has taken a decision she stands firm in her decision in the last stanza okay let's move on to this poem now honey child honey child a repetition a child it doesn't mean the child the child the daughter who is a small child rather a grown-up it is a very affectionate tone the mother uses to convince the daughter to accept the reality where, whither are you going? Where are you going? So old English, whither has to be changed into where are you going? Would you cast your jewels all to the breezes blowing? Would you leave the mother who on golden grain has fed you? Would you grieve the lover who is riding forth to wed you? So would you, would you, would you? The three lines begin with the same word would 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 it's called the literary device anaphora and now the mother asked where are you going honey child would you cast away would you throw all the jewels jewels are the one in indian tradition or when it comes to marriage you know it is something highly expensive where they give all these jewels or uh, material you know, in the name of a uh, dowry, they give all these things to the daughter as a token of a dowry or a gift or a presence, whatever it is. And the mother asks, daughter, would you throw away all these materials like jewels, ornaments and everything to the nature, the breezes blowing in the forest? Would you leave the mother who on golden grain? No, now she is telling this third line who interrogative pronoun it refers to the mother herself would you leave your mother who has you no know, gave who has given you who has fed you with the golden healthy food from the childhood nourished everything you no know, in choice making and would you grieve the lover who is going to come who is going to bed you soon so the person whom you are going to marry would you put him into trouble? Would you put him in feel sad? This is what the question the mother asks. In the second sansa, you see, and the daughter replies, Mother mine, to the wild forest I am going. So the mother asked, where are you going in the first stanza, first line? In the second sansa, first line, you see, the daughter replies, I am going to the wild forest. Whereupon champa boughs, the champa buds are blowing. No, it talks about, no, it is enticing nature. She's, so she brings out the enticing, the attraction of nature. The daughter who is so enthralled with nature's abundance. 
and she also says to the quail haunted no it's a cuckoo quail haunted it's a cuckoo bird river isles where lotus lilies glisten no, all these things no attracts attract the daughter and she is attracted by all these natural elements the voices of the fairy folk are calling me oh listen so the daughter replies very clearly i am going to the forest and these are the things which attract entices and the third stanza again the mother asks question honey child honey child the world is full of pleasure of bridal songs cradle songs and sandal scented leisure so these are the preparations made for the marriage now the mother says the world reality is full of pleasure happiness joy everything it is a joy of a bridal song the wedding songs you no know, to be played on the occasion and then cradle songs after your marriage maybe soon after your marriage you will maybe in a year you will become a mother the motherhood she talks about the time that you are going to spend with the child it is going to be something an a gift at time now that's why she says a cradle songs and the sandal scented laces everything that expensive the parents have spent and given for the daughter's marriage and you are bridal robes are in the loom silver saffron glowing see variety of things the parents have arranged for the daughter's marriage and your bridal cakes are on the hearth oh whither are you going everything we have arranged why do you go why do you want to leave and the daughter says bridal songs cradle songs have cadences of sorrow it's a rhythm of sorrow it's not long lasting it's not the permanent joy it's not the permanent pleasure rather it is a rhythm of sorrow sadness and sorrow why does she consider it so there are two perceptions one is the mother who is a elder one who is of a classical or a traditional woman who has never asked any question simply following the life cycle whereas the daughter who wants to no symbol who is symbolizing as a romantic romanticism wants to leave away it's something the reality is something of soul killing there is no complete freedom at all where she is bound by the social norms in the reality and the daughter says the laughter of the sun today the beginning the joy of the sun today the happy the life of the today is the wind of death tomorrow which is going to be wind the destruction of death tomorrow today you will have a joy today you will have a happiness the next day you will have the death you will have the sorrow you will have the problem so the daughter feels that these you not know, the happiness the pleasure the joy on the earth on in reality is going to be short lived not a permanent one whereas she thinks that the joy that she is going to have a happiness she is going to have with the nature is going to be permanent because she has not experienced whereas the mother speaks from her experience and she says the daughter says far sweeter sound the forest notes she thinks that the forest notes are far sweeter than the bridal songs and the cradle songs where the streams are falling oh mother mine i cannot stay the fairy folk are calling me see look at the last line she is firm in her decision whatever she has taken though mother tries to convince persuade and she also dissuades from going to forest but the decision taken by the daughter stands still thank you for listening